Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be telling you how to add water levels and spikes to a platformer game. If you haven't seen the platformer game, I'll link it uh, on screen and in the description or something. Uh, you'll be able to find it. Uh, let's get into the video. So, first of all, spikes. This should be really easy. What you just want to do is copy this uh, if touching color red if touching color gray then you should also reset uh huh alright and then we'll put this back here alright so what we're gonna want to do is put a lot of this into uh, an if function I will say if uh, not touching the color blue, specifically this dark blue, the light blue is already uh, a jump boost. And we'll say if not touching color blue. So what we want to have here, so this. So we have this stuff, this stuff is for to reset the game and bring it to the next level. So it's this, we can put that in here, we can keep that X velocity stuff, that shouldn't change. Uh, the rest is Y velocity, everything to do with Y velocity, you can put that in here. And actually, this should be an if and then else, so that we can add what to do if there is water. So if we do that, there we go. Right. Let's save. So now, when you're touching water, uh, let's see here. If we hit the green. Let's go through the levels we made last time. To this one. You can see we can move horizontally. The spikes kill us, but we do not move vertically. Now what I want to do is say uh, if the uh, up arrow key is pressed Then we change y velocity by one. Uh, or else we'll change it by uh, negative one. There we go. So what this will do is if the up arrow key is pressed, it'll push it up. If not, it'll push it down. So we'll get this like uh yeah, let's just put this in the else part and now the uh the y velocity won't actually change the y, so let's fix that. Uh, actually, since we're using the space bar, we should use the space bar here too. So now we can kind of swim around. I mean, swim under the ground, which isn't great. So uh, let's fix that real quick. Um. Just want to say, take this and put it in bottom part and say, uh, here in this else. So, this is the else of if not touching color blue. So, this is uh, where if it is touching color blue, and we'll say if it's also touching the color green. Uh, what we'll do 
we'll set the y velocity to zero and we want to put that at the top okay so now why is it still going through the ground that's because we still set it to change the y velocity by negative one after that. So what we want to do is actually put this in here. All right, one last thing I want to mention is that I accidentally removed uh, this set y velocity to zero from here. Uh, so that was a mistake and I put it back. Uh, another thing is that you might want your character to move slowly, slower through the water because it's swimming. Uh, so what we can do is take this uh, change x velocity and make it exclusive to uh, when there is no water. And then... We can uh, duplicate it, put it down far to where there is water, and say change the x velocity to something like 1, which is how quickly the y changes, so hopefully that will make it better. still in the forever loop <laughs> um, and now you can see that the normal levels work fine and uh, you can move you don't move horizontally as quickly as you do in the normal levels. And there, and there it is, there's your water level. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.